Hi guys, it's Christina from Redefine Creative, and I am back with another layout for Spiegel Mom Scrubs, where I decided to take these different kind of candy jars here, and I went ahead and hand stitched around the edges. So I just used a template that I found on the internet for what I wanted my bottles to look like, and then I just grabbed three different colors that kind of coordinated with my photo and did some hand stitching around the edges. And now I'm grabbing this pink and mint collection, and this is from uh, my friend Tuesday over at Cheeky Studio. And so this is like a super jam-packed ephemera pack. And that's where those black bows come from. And so I knew I wanted to use a bunch of these candies to fill up the dishes. And so I'm going to fill that middle dish with these um, little wrapped candies, which I'm calling peppermint bonbons. And then I made a little tag on the bottom to go along with it that just says that peppermint bonbons. And then I knew that I wanted to put these sequins from Spiegel Mom Scraps that are shaped like snowflakes into the bottom of that blue container. And those are going to be just called sweet treats. And then my green one is just for candy canes. And so then I went ahead and grabbed some Doodlebug uh, Milk and Cookies collection. And they had this pattern paper that has all kinds of candies and things on it. And so I went ahead and put that across the top of my layout just in a very thin strip. And then I'm going to use two of the stickers. So I'm going to use this larger um, kind of scalloped edge. And then I'm going to put the pattern paper overlapping on top of that. And then I'm going to grab this little tiny um, scalloped edge with the red and white stripes. And I'm going to put that over the other two as the top layer. And what I'm wanting to do is kind of create the look of like this is a candy shop. Um, this is a tradition that we have in my family every year where we decorate these gingerbread houses. And usually we do this at home where I just buy a bunch of different toppings and things and the kids decorate and that's what we do. And so this year we changed up our tradition a little bit and we went to our local like family owned cookie shop and candy store. It's like a little bakery. And we went there, and they have um, a class and kits that you can do to do this. And so each of the kids had their own little kit of things and got to create their own gingerbread house, just like we would typically do at home. Um, but it was kind of a fun twist on our tradition, being able to do this in the bakery and kind of have the sights and smells of the bakery all around us. And um, they got to go back and kind of tour through the kitchen and do some extra things that were really fun. And so I'm just wanting to document that little bit of a change in our tradition and how much we enjoyed that change this year. And so I'm just adding a couple of stickers there, that little tab that just says holiday. Um, I layered up a couple of the pattern papers beneath my photo. And then I went ahead and grabbed some hip kit um, things that I have left in my kit. So I grabbed that little piece of ephemera that says Christmas, and I believe that was from last year's hip kit. And then I also grabbed those gold letters, and those are from this year's December Hip Kit. And so my title is just going to be Christmas Traditions. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm putting those black bows, and those are from Cheeky Studio, um, on some fun foam. So that they are going to be dimensional, and then the little tags behind them are going to be flat. So it looks like they are tied right to these little candy jars. And then I'm going to take that third candy jar that's empty right now, and rather than filling it with the candy canes, I'm actually going to do my journaling in that space. And so I do go back and do that off camera here in a second, but I am going to grab my pen and just show you that, hey, this is my plan is that I'm going to journal in this, in this leftover jar here. And then I'm going to go ahead and take a bunch more of these sequins. And these are great because these come in a mini pack in the Spiegel Mom Scrap Store. So you can get just these gold snowflakes. And I'm going to scatter a few up there around that embellishment cluster. And then I'm going to take, I think, like five or six of them and kind of scatter them across my banner up here at the top to just add some interest and some of that gold color to that top, um, that top border. And that is basically going to do it for this layout. So this one came together pretty quickly once I got that hand stitching done. And I'm really happy with how it turned out. I wanted it to be more simple so that this photo of, of my daughter creating her gingerbread house really stood out and so I hope you will stop by the Spiegel Mom Scrap store and check out all the really cool additions they have for the holidays and I'll see you again soon. Bye!